All right, so now we're looking at the specific assignment after you've turned it in. So I'm gonna go back to my first week activities and I'm gonna view my assignment. And I can see that, uh, that my teacher has now given me um, comments and they've resubmitted the grade. So I can see right over here, this is my grade for the assignment. So I got 18 out of 20 points possible. And I can choose to resubmit it if um, given the opportunity. So not always will you be given the opportunity to resubmit an assignment, but I will let you know in the expectations and directions for it. Or you can shoot me a quick um, comment saying, uh, I'd really like to improve this and I'd really like to get full credit. Um, can I resubmit? And I will let you know in that private comment as well. So this is a private comment that I've given you. Great work. You've completed almost all of your work. Just remember to complete all of your IXL work next time. And I can also go into my classroom slides right here and I can pull it up and I'll be making specific comments on different slides. So if you have your math homework, I will be giving specific feedback for each slide for what you need to remember to do next time. So on this specific thing, I said, remember, this is your IXL work. You need to complete all your assignments here. And it will even highlight when you click on the comment, it will highlight a specifically where, where you need to work on. And you can reply back to me on this way. Um, and I will get a notification that you've replied to me as well. So if we go back here, and I'm going to go back to my polka dot class, and I'm going to go back to my classwork page. There's also a tab that's called view your work. So when I click on that, it's going to go to all of my work and everything that I've turned in. So I've shown you this in previous videos. Um, this is all of my tab for the polka dot class, so my demo class. I can see that here is my grade. This is when I submitted it or this is when it's due, and I can see how many comments and attachments there are. So I can see that if I go to assigned, I finished all my work, so I don't have to worry about it. I can see that this was returned to me, and I can go specific to it, and you can see all of the information, and then I can go back to my missing, but I have no missing work. So there are two different ways that we can access our work, and seeing, that our, seeing where our comments are, from our teacher and where our, the feedback is given to us. So if we're not turning in assignments, then we're getting a missing grade, which is not good because you wanna make sure that you're turning in all of your assignments so that you're learning the information. And if you're missing assignments, that means you're not gonna be passing the class. So make sure you're getting all your work done. And for this activity, make sure you're going through and you're, cop you're going through each step with me on your own to make sure that you know how to navigate Google Classroom.